Okay, I'm Jay Scruggs. I'm here with Wall Clipper. And Wall is sponsoring this hour on Ustream so we don't get any commercials during the competition or anything that you're going to see live. So thanks to Wall for that. Now, I've got a little, this is a little Bichon mix that I'm going to be working on. Um, haven't touched it with a comb. I haven't touched it. I haven't bathed it. haven't brushed it out or anything like that. But I'm going to show you the um, effects you can get with the snap-on combs that we have. We have the stainless steel snap-on combs made by Wall. You can notice the blades are really thin on them so they feed through the coat really easily. It's not like some of the larger or the some of the plastic snap-on combs that get stuck in the hair. Um, these feed through a lot easier so really I like them a lot. They come in this handy case so they're all color coded which is really easy for the groomers to to figure out which color they're using and which number they're using. So on a dog like this before I get it in the bathtub um, I like to take off as much hair as I can. So what I would start out with is I'd start out with probably a blade longer than what I'm thinking I'm going to use as a finished product. So I'm going to start out with A, which is a three-quarter inch blade, or the three-quarter inch snap-on comb. And I'm going to put it over a 30 blade. So I always use a 30 blade because I feel I get a better finish and it's a lot smoother for me. Um, you can also use a 10 and a 15, but we're going to start out with a 30 using a KM2 speed clipper. So. I'm going to start right behind the withers. I want to make sure that I leave some neck hair right in this area to fill in because um, we've got to, when we try to start to balance the dog out, we want to make sure we have some hair to work with. So I'm going to start behind the withers and I'm just going to see how much hair I can take off. But the key is you've got to remember if you're grooming a dog that has the tail set where they carry their tail over the back, you don't want to cut all this hair off in the beginning. And you also want to make long strokes when you're grooming the dog. So, for instance, if I take my clipper and I start to clip and I pick it up and stop or I clip a little bit more and stop and clip a little bit more and stop, every time I pick my clipper up, it causes separation in the coat and then I don't get these nice smooth strokes and I have to keep going over and over the dog. So what I'll do is I'll start in one area and I'm going to take this clipper and I'm going to go all the way and finish my line out all the way through and then I'll come back to this point and I'm gonna finish that line out. So instead of you know starting and stopping, starting and stopping, starting and stopping, I'm going from point A all the way to point B. And if you'll notice when I get to towards the tail set, I'm gonna leave some hair in this area that's gonna kind of fill in that we would scissor in. So I'm gonna go off at an angle towards their hips. So I'm coming here, off at an angle, back to my starting point, at an angle, back to my starting point, at an angle. So once I've set in my top line, I want to set in my neck. So I'll start right behind the, the back of the ear here because I know I want to make that short. And I'm going to make that stroke all the way from the ear down to the shoulder. And then I'm going to blend off because I don't want to get into the shoulders because I don't know what the structure is right now. So here, all the way down, blend off. Here, all the way down, blend off. So, but if you'll notice, I always go back to the starting point because it makes my lines a lot smoother and a lot neater. So instead of the small strokes, I'm doing the long strokes. And I can just follow this all the way down the dog's body. And if you'll notice with these wall snap-on combs, I don't have any, um, any hair trapped in each side. I'm not getting anything sticking. I'm not getting any hair clogged up. So they go right through the coat like a comb. And they work really well and really easy with any coat type. So just remember the tip of this or the um, what I'm trying to get to and what I want you to learn is nice, long, smooth strokes. You'll get a lot smoother finish. Just like when you're scissoring a dog, if you start to scissor and you stop and pick your scissors up and comb and then scissor some more, you won't get as smooth a finish as if you have everything combed up and scissor from point A to point B. So now I've got one side set in. I can take it to the other side. And because this is kind of an awkward angle where you're not going in the direction that you would normally go, you still want to hold it like a pencil and you still want to use this as your guideline making these smooth strokes all the way back. So, and I always go back to that starting point. So remember that anytime you're grooming, it's gonna make it a lot easier on you. And if you'll notice, I haven't even put a comb on this dog yet. Normally I would, but because this is just a quick demo, haven't put a comb on the dog. And if the dog has a few little knots or little tangles or whatever, it'll go right through it, so. So just a quick snap-on comb demonstration. 
And then you can also, once you get your body length set in, I always like to go one blade shorter or one snap-on comb shorter on the neck. So I'd go to the yellow, which is the zero, or the three-eighths inch snap-on. And what I'll do is I'll pull the neck up right at the Adam's apple to separate the head from the body. I'll go in right at the Adam's apple and I'll take this down short. So same thing, make a nice stroke all the way down to the breastbone and just skim out away from the dog's neck, away from the dog's chest. So anyway, that's just a couple of quick tips with these snap-on combs. Um, if you do have a problem and you want to try to keep them clean or if you have a problem keeping them clean, um, I know a lot of people try to use Q-tips in, in between them. I like to just put mine, I'll throw them in the dishwasher when my wife's not looking and that will clean in between each little teeth and kind of get that grit and grind out. So that works really well or you know you can scrub them up with some blade cleaner. Um, they're stainless steel so they won't rust or anything like that. So um, visit Wall, Wall Canada, Wall, if you're in Canada. Wall Europe, if you're in Europe. Um, of course, we'd like to you to visit Wall in the United States. We've got a booth here at the trade show. So come by and see us and check out our products.